regular people. A game show is where it's at. Answering questions about irregular news stories. You got it, you got it, you got it. Huzzah! Huzzah! Can they separate fact from fiction? I'm going true. False. And go home with the prize? Yay! Play along at home as we have some fun with the wildest and wackiest news stories from around the country. Holy wow. Go down! On, wait, what, what happened? happened? This is Wait, What Happened? I'm Frank Nicotero, and today we're in Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood, my hometown of Pittsburgh. Let's see if our contestants can figure out when life is stranger than fiction. Would you be mine? Where's my card again? I'm here with Brittany. Brittany, you have a foot injury. Let's talk about it. I do, I play roller derby, and I got knocked down by someone much smaller than me. And what's the result of that? What happened? I broke it in multiple places. Now I have 16 screws and three metal plates in there. Oh, boy, going through airport security is going to be a blast <laughs> for you in the future, right? I hope not. OK. <laughs> well, you're getting along. All right, so listen, I'm going to ask you a series of questions based on real news stories with unreal outcomes. For each question you get right, you earn 25 bucks. You ready to do it? I'm ready. Let's play. When I deliver over here, I try to get in and get out really quick. And they, they seem to be gathering together right now, so I'm always in a hurry in this area. Question one. Delivery drivers under attack in Wisconsin. The drivers are facing some peculiar gang activity. True or false, the delivery drivers are being attacked by wild turkeys. False. You don't think that's true? You think it's something else? I think it's geese. <laughs> I, think, I think it's geese because geese are angry birds. Okay, let me tell you what, it's actually true. Ah! It is turkeys, you have to see it to believe it. They surround the delivery vehicles, pecking at tires and holding up traffic. The drivers in the neighborhood defend themselves with sticks and umbrellas. Turkeys would be pretty good though uh, in roller derby if they're that vicious, right? Vicious, yeah. Teach get... them to skate? Why not? It'd be right. entertaining if anything. It would be. I'm sorry I didn't get money on that one, but we got another yeah. question coming up. I left that to the professional. <laughs> I like scooping ice cream. <laughs> An ice cream shop with guided tours? Yes, that's correct. But the tours have nothing to do with ice cream. You see, in York, Pennsylvania, there used to be a roadside attraction, a house, that was designed after the owner's profession in the clothing business. True or false, the building's exterior looks like a fancy hat. True. You think it's true it looks like a hat? Um, I mean, it sounds pretty ridiculous, and if right. there is a building in Pennsylvania, it would be shaped like a hat. Why not? Pennsylvania's known for hats? Yeah, sure. OK. All right. <laughs> the correct answer, uh, it's actually false. Oh, my goodness. It's actually a shoe house, yes. Ah. The house was designed as a roadside ad for the original owner's shoe business. In 2022, it was sold, and rumor has it it's being turned into an Airbnb, so no more tours, just sleeping in shoes. Okay. Why did you think hats were associated with Pennsylvania? Well, there... in the first one, it was I was wrong, so I went right. the other way this time, and I was still wrong. Are you ready for question three? I'm ready. All right, let's I'm gonna do it. I'm going to get this one. She's going to get this one. <laughs> you can have you know, three or four webs all meshed together and it, it makes this big super web. And so that can be kind of a nuisance to homeowners. Scientists say the invasive Joro spider snuck into the country on a cargo ship that likely came from their native habitat in Asia. They started popping up in different parts of South Carolina and are known for their unique ability to travel. True or false, they are known to send a thin web out into the air and parachute away. Oh. Parachuting spiders, uh, mm -hmm. you know, just so they're more creepy. All yeah, right. right. <laughs> um, well, spiders do lots of fascinating things. Yeah. I'm going to go with true. It is a true answer. There you go. We're on the board with 25 bucks. High five and high five. And yes, the baby Joro spiders are known to use this webbed parachute to get from place to place. If you see one, don't worry, they're harmless. These Joros are really wimpy. And so they're, they're more likely to run away than attack anybody. Um, even if they did want to, their fangs are fairly short, and so they probably wouldn't even be able to do any damage. All right, Brittany, you got 25 bucks. Let's try to double it to 50. Let's do it. Question number four. OK. Now, this question is a this or that. In New Mexico, a 78-year-old woman takes up a new sport. And I thought, holy wow. You know, look what those people can do uh, with the focus and the strength. I wanted to do it. Brittany, what sport does this super senior participate in, boxing or powerlifting? Well, 
I don't know what's really popular in New Mexico, <laughs> but uh, she did mention being focused and strength, so I'm gonna go with uh, powerlifting. So you listen to the clip, you processed it, did. you got the right answer. Oh, congratulations, woo, 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 woo. yes. It's powerlifting, true feats of strength. Take a deep breath, squeeze your abs tight, you got 10. I just want to be strong, and there's something about working out that just makes me feel so good. When I first went to a gym, I sat in the car for like 15 minutes, and then, oh man, you can at least walk in. But now I feel like it's very comfortable. I'm excited to do it. She's going to be competing in the Masters 4 category, which is anyone 70 years old and up. And um, oh, technically, that. she... Yeah, I have to that. compete against 70-year-old people? <laughs> Holy cow. All right, Brittany, one of your bucket list things was to be on a game show. Here you are. You've won $50 on the show. You can take this and leave right now. That's door number one. But door number two, you can answer a bonus question, and if you get it right, you double your money to $100, but if you get it wrong, you leave with nothing. Nothing. So, option, door number one, take the 50 and go. Door number two, go for double or nothing. What do you want to do? Huh. Hi, Brittany, you've won $50 on the show. You can take this and leave right now. Or you can answer a bonus question, and if you get it right, you double your money. to $100, what do you want to do? Huh. 50, guaranteed, or double or nothing to 100, what do you think? Uh, are you summoning someone, or are you, I are you am, trying to? Uh, what is the roller I, I derby? Wanna in your, your, your I want to do it, I want to do it. You're going for it? Uh, yes. All right, good luck, let's do this. Okay. A dog got more than he bargained for when he got loose and took off running at the zoo. He is incredibly lucky that he did not get any injuries um, from his encounters with the New environment, new smells, and a new foe. This poor dog was chased by one of the zoo's inhabitants. What happened? Was the dog chased by A, a gorilla, B, a tiger, or C, an elephant? Oh. Yeah, this is for a hundred bucks. Think oh, about it. Okay, so it said new smells, and yeah, the dog was anxious. Yeah. Poor thing. Okay. I'm. I don't think elephant. Okay. I don't know how fast elephants are. I just don't think they're that fast. Okay. Dogs uh, are pretty lemonade fast. Lemonade and elephant, you think? So right, it's a dog. Uh, it's either a gorilla, a gorilla or, or a, a tiger. tiger, and it's a new foe. For a hundred bucks, I'm gonna go with the uh, tiger. Okay. Scary tigers. All right. If it's a tiger, you got a hundred bucks. If not, unfortunately, you'd have nothing. Is it an elephant? <laughs> it is I'm not. So mad if it's, it's not an the elephant. The correct answer is A, the gorilla. No! Brittany, no! the dog got into the gorilla habitat at San Diego Zoo Safari Park. Luckily, he escaped without any harm. No one knows exactly how he got there, but he learned a valuable lesson about monkeying around. Uh, oh, man, uh, I liked your logic. I'm so sorry you didn't want anything. I hope you had fun. We saw wild turkeys attacking delivery people, right? We saw a house shaped like a shoe. We found out that spiders can parachute, and we saw a powerlifting grandma. Pretty entertaining right there. Yeah. And you were super entertaining. I appreciate you being on. Wait, what happened? Thank you for you having had me. Fun. I had fun. All right, get your foot better, okay? Okay.